Hi everyone and welcome to your first lecture on XHTML and CSS. In this first lecture I'm going to introduce you to HTML or old HTML and the differences between uh, HTML and XHTML. So if you go to Wikipedia you have a nice description about HTML and you can think of HTML as the old version of the code to create websites or web pages. Now it has been updated to a new version which is called the XHTML which stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language and it's part of the XML markup languages and we will get more into XML later but for now XHTML is the code that we use nowadays to create cool web pages and websites. Most of the old code or old rules on HTML are deprecated and we don't use it anymore. Okay, so if you see a web page that is still using an old version of HTML, there's going to be a lot of problems there. Okay, so stay away from those HTML old pages and make sure you have your pages with XHTML. Now, if you ever wondered how XHTML code is, you just have to click the right button of your mouse and make sure you click the choice that says see source code and you'll get this pop-up okay so this is basically the XHTML code that we need to create a page like this so it's not easy and it's a lot of code but don't worry we're gonna get there and I'm gonna show you how to do a lot of code and how to dynamically create a lot of code in this course okay don't be scared because it's a lot easier than you think and it seems XHTML you can think of as the code that creates the structure of a web page and then to style the web page with colors different types of fonts and all that we use the CSS code which stands for Cascading Style Sheets and it's a style sheet language itself. So we use CSS to style everything we have on our website and we're going to use XHTML to create the structure of our website or the web pages. So if you guys want to get more into the history of it, you can read all this. You have everything you need to know here on Wikipedia page. Okay, so this is all for now and I really hope you guys like the course. See you in the next lecture. Bye.